I don't want anybody to get the impression that I think that Donald Trump is a sound mind and body. I don't. Right? I don't. <laughs> Nothing could be further from the truth, Johnson. I think that Donald Trump is a menace to society. Case in point. Somewhere around. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Wrong clip. There are many advances under many names and many theories, but it always comes down to the desire for domination. It protects not the interests of many, but the privilege of few. Our founders gave us a system designed to restrain this dangerous impulse. They chose to entrust American power to those most invested in the fate of our nation, a proud and fiercely independent people. The true good of a nation can only be pursued by those who love it, by citizens who are rooted in its history, who are nourished by its culture, committed to its values, attached to its people, and who know that its future is theirs to build or theirs to lose. And I am tired, oh so tired, I am of the mind to go to sleep right here. Where is my snuggle, snuggle wuggle? Where is my pillow and my slippers and pajamas with the feet in them? I would like to go tonight, night. Mommy, would you read me a story? A story where I was still a philandering piece of garbage. Why did I take this job? Why did I let my ego get in the way? I could have let Hillary win, and then I would be on the golf course. Probably less than I am now, but I would be able to have my mind just on the golf. I, 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 I... Yeah, so I'm not, I don't want people to, you know, have the wrong impression that I think that Donald Trump's doing a good job. I don't think he's doing a good job. Um, do I think he's doing as bad a job as most people say he is? No. Um, he's doing a horrible job, but he's doing a job that most Republicans would do in this place. Uh, they might even do it more efficiently. That's <laughs> what I'm trying to tell you. Uh, so, yeah. What a lot of people are mistakenly doing is they're, and, and I saw my brother T.I. do this, and you know, we're all becoming a victim of what our media projects onto us. Like we're becoming, we're, you know, we're being affected, like not, not unlike zombies in The Walking Dead where everything's fine and then you get bitten and before you know it, you are dead. But you're still walking around. You still think things are operational. Well, you're infected with the CNBC, MSNBC, or CDNC, and the CNN or the Clinton News Network or the Corrupt News Network or whatever you want to call them, right? You're infected with that. And don't get me wrong. There's a there's a there's a strain of virus at the Fox, the Fix News, that it just rips through like your arms just explode. So your extremities just evaporate, incinerate. They 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 combust spontaneously combust. So yeah. So I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm, Get, get my point, guys. What I'm saying is that stop watching corporate media because it's horrible stuff. But that doesn't mean that I'm oblivious to that. That There are grade school kids who give better speeches because they care. And they're awake while they're giving them. Trump, less like, he just likes performing. It's like, when am I going to get the time to go back in front of all of, the, all of my friends at the stadiums and, 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 and do my stand-up routine? I want, Trumpy want to go do that. Trumpy, 
That's what he wants to do. That's what he likes doing. He don't like the rest of this.